This is a tough question. And while I would like you to understand all the steps that I go through in this explanation, I don't expect you to solve this on an actual exam. This is probably something that you would skip. We're given a formula for the expenses and we're told that the company made a profit. So, so basically the revenue minus the costs is greater than zero. And then I would just fill in the revenue. We don't really know what that is, right? It's the number of things times the amount that each thing sells for, but we don't know what that is. We know that the costs are this 100,000 plus 5% of whatever that revenue is. And we know that whatever that is, it's greater than zero because we made a profit. The question's asking about 21,000 units. So let's plug that in for the number of units. And I'm just going to use X for the money sign for now. I think that's a little easier. We have to remember that this is being distributed. And just take your time with this uh, arithmetic. Let's notice that this is approximately 20,000, which means that that whole expression, this fraction is a shade above five. So we're wondering, is x greater than something that's a tiny bit above five? That's the actual question. So we know revenue, the number of things times the cost is greater than 110,000. But we're not going to be able to tease out the number of things from that because you could have like one thing that costs 110,000 or you could have 110,000 things that all cost a buck each. So you could be above or below 21,000. This is telling us that the dollar amount or the, the X actually in our uh, work up here is five. So the threshold here is a little bit above five. We know we're at five, so we're below the threshold. So that's going to be sufficient.